you guys. Just uh, do a quick one. For it. This is Eve. Uh, a game I've been playing since 2005. And it's one I do keep coming back to time after time. I like it because it's um, what I call a thinking man's game. And you have to work for the for the modules for your ship. You have to work for your ships. You have to work, uh, skill up on them, and it's and then all the skills are done in real time. Um, there is a way around it now. Um, you can buy skill injectors and add the skill points into your head, and then choose what you want to skill up on. In the old days, you didn't have any of that. So I've just skilled this guy up. He's in a Hulk. He's called Masonic Man, and he is at uh, 12 million skill points, which it's not a lot, but it's it's got him into a Hulk, and I sort of directed him into that. So I really just trained him on what I need to get him to a Hulk, uh, and what he needed to use on that Hulk, as in modules like these. So these are what you need, and Tech 2 is just way better than the common old garden Tech 1, or just, yeah. Anything lower than Tech 2 is, is not the best. Cheap, you can get it, it's cheap, it's great to start with, but um, you always want to sort of head towards Tech 2, or even better, Faction Gear, but you're talking silly money but not a lot of return um so yeah so this is empire uh, and i um i'm mining empire so i have two hulks and one of these and this is an orca so this is a capital ship an industrial capital ship and this is the ship that has uh, all the bon it gives all the bonuses to the fleet. So I fleet the three of them all together, and this is the one that does all the uh, the boosting to make um, to give you the best possible yield on what you're mining. So we tend to mine in asteroid belts. Well, you do mine in asteroid belts. So let's just undock Masonic Man. Now let's go to uh, Asteroid Belt. It's the middle of the day. It's well after downtime. Downtime is usually 11 o'clock or 12 o'clock, depending on British summer time. Um, and if I right, cl right click in space, you can see all the Asteroid Belts. And I tend to start at this one. Don't ask me why. I just tend to start that one. Uh, so I'll send them there first, see what the situation is with the rocks, because they can be all mined out, all the asteroid belts can be flattened and just mined out, so there's no point. But we'll see, we'll see what this one... See what this one uh, does. Okay, so someone's already there mining in a little venture so he won't be doing that much but as you can see there's there's quite a few rocks there but i'll go to the next one up in fact i'll go to one that i go to a lot i'll go to uh x1 10 one but he's in a little venture tiny little thing it will mine a fraction of what my uh ships mine and while I'm sending Masonic Man around, I'm going to uh, get a fleet formed. So, invite to fleets. Invite to the fleet. Okay, so both of these will have invites now, so I'll just accept those. And here we are. And this is not bad, this spell. So what I'm going to do is get closer to the rocks. because I need my orca to be sat on the rocks within a thousand, or just over a thousand uh, meters. Those drones have been there for quite a few days now. So I'm going to try and sit him 
I'm going to try and sit him here. So I'll get him while he's moving. I'll drop my drones just in case rats appear. And while he's moving, I will undock both my other ships and align them to X, X1. So when he's ready, they can just literally warp together. Align in, align X1, get my hardness on, these are shield hardness. Shield hardness, X1. So both will are aligning now, let's go back to him. So he's coming up on, if you have a look, the closest is 3.8, so I'll just take him a little bit closer. Because once the orca lands, it doesn't move. Um, once you put the siege module on, it can't move. It's locked until it times out, if you turn it off, or cycles out. <clears throat> so... He's just, there you go, there's the rats, the little red ones. Anything red. 90% of the time you can kill it without any repercussions. So there they are attacking. And my drones now, if you can see here, the bottom right, they're actually going and fighting uh, the rats. They're only really little tiny rats. They're hardly worth bothering with the count. They don't bother my ships, but just kill them. Once it's once the, um, they leave a wreck when they're dead, so you can just, I abandon all my wrecks because someone can come along and take out your wrecks and they're flashing red, they're aggroed and then they might do it on purpose to try and get you aggro and then you'll find a load of more or warp in uh, and they'll kill you because they've got, re they've got, legally they can do it. But if you leave it blue, it's open to anyone that can have them and nothing happens. Because you're in Empire, this is high sec. Anyone attacks you in Empire, uh, the police, Concord, they call them, will come and rescue and kill them. As long as you don't, um, as long as you don't fight back, just ignore them. Just make sure you've got a good tank. And I have on both the whole Hulks and the um, Walker. Oh, I'm bouncing off the station. Jesus. Right, I'm going to have to move out. The Hulk is way past the station. Cool. Right, we'll have to move out. X1 is there. So we will align in a minute. Let's get around the station. I usually let them run out further when they come out here, just in case they turn around to a line. That's a nice ship on the left there. That's a, a marshal. That's a police ship, well, Concord Police Commander. And they will run to your rescue, fly to your rescue if you're attacked. But the, there's enough attackers, they'll usually pop you before uh, the police get there, but the police will come and then they will kill them. But, you know, you've lost your ship. Right, let's try and warp the fleet to Masonic Man. Because I'm in the fleet, I can warp the fleet to that member. She's still turning. I might be able to get away with it. Let's try it. Here we go. There you go. Mm -hmm. 
Because there we are, we're hopping together. And if you watch now, if you watch our Masonic Man. Here they come. And they are warping and landing right on him. Which is great. So now I need to get everything set up. So both the hulks, I need to get them orbiting at 1000, orbiting the uh, orca. Now the orca's stopped near enough, I can put into siege, get the compressor module working, and get these are the. Uh, these are what give the boost to the fleet, look. They can boost range, they can boost quite the shields. Um, there you go, look, look. Um, range, yeah. They can boost uh, laser optimization charge. I think they're both laser optimized. Oh no, mining field laser enhancement charge. And that is be loaded 25% bonus to affect the strength of mining form and burst charges launched from this module okay anyway let's get the um, let's get these set up I need to put these into this is nightshade so she's going to be doing bell spa Drop the drones. That's my ore hold. And we're going to open the fleet hangar of the orca. That's where we'll move from our hold to the orca's hold when we are mining. Well, there we go, that's the first lot set off. Let's do Masonic Man. Fleet Hanger. And I'm doing Valde Plagio Clays on this one. So get them all together. It's better to just do them by name so you can get them all together. And I just pick out the long distance ones because the short ones the Orca will do with their air drones. Air mining drones. Okay. Yep. So let's get those lasers going. And then the Orca. I've got all the close ones, Felsbar and Plagio Clay, so any one of those. I'll leave the rest. Felsbar. Felsbar. Okay, so all these mining drones, augmented ones, they're not cheap, but they are great. They'll do 313, well, 340 M3 uh, per cycle and there's five of them so I'll set them to work now so you'll see them go off there they go oh, and that's them there doing their thing want to see what they're doing see if I can, can zoom in They're actually pulling, you can see. Let's look at one. There they are. And you can see them. They're moving pretty fast. <coughs> but they are, <coughs> excuse me, they are pulling from the rock. They are literally laser mining it and drawing the, uh, the ore into their hold, their little hold, and they could then they'll cycle, come back to the ship, drop it off in the ship's cargo hold and then go back to it. So. There we go. So 
So really don't need to watch this as much. The Orca. Everything's going, so I don't really need to look at that. I'll keep my eye through the other two and keep my eye on their drones. And if their drones aren't mine, then I know they've stopped, so I can then um, activate them. If it's if they, the only time they'll stop mine is if they pop an asteroid, if they exhaust it. So here we are now. I need to compress this. Saves a lot of space because that was nearly full then. The Hulk cargo holds are not brilliant space-wise, so that's why you compress them, gives you more room, and then I'll drop it into the Orca fleet hangar. There's a lot more. Um, Sonic Man and Alex Chantel, she's let's have a look at my Sonic Man, he's nearly full as well. He'll take a maximum of 32,000, so it's nearly coming up to it then, so I'll drop that in there into the Orca. So that's all really what you're doing collecting into your own mining hold, compressing it, and then dropping it into the Orca. And that is really it. Obviously, you keep your eye on. You keep your eye in local, that's a local channel. Anybody spouting off in there or has been attacked may may alert local. <clears throat> that's like the systems community channel. Anybody who's in local in that in this system may want to put something in there. Really need to sort this mic out. The asteroid is depleted. There you go. Let's uh, activate that on one. <clears throat> You're gonna keep up, keep locking more, keep locking more um, belt bar or plague of clays. And just work your way through. So this belt will probably yield about um, 80, 90 million um, of ISK worth. ISK is the um, currency in EVE, uh, ISK, Interstellar Credits. And doing this in Empire, it's, it's not as lucrative if you were in the bad, what well, I call them the Badlands, which is Nullsec. Uh, where anything goes, anyone can kill anyone, and no repercussions. Uh, but the the, ga the the monetary gains you can have in there are amazing. If you were doing this in the Badlands, you'd be mining some amazing um, moon rocks and uh, high yield, high, uh, very high priced uh, minerals, and you can. Um, you can earn billions in a day, not hundreds of millions, but billions. When you come to Empire, there's not really much, unless you were doing Abyssals. Abyssals will earn money, but there's a chance you could lose your ship in the Abyssal. Um, missions, I do level fours in this system. Uh, with Anita and Fozzy, they're my main characters, they're both PvP. I think Fozzy's up to 100 and 170 million skill points, and Anita's around about 110, 20. But I've had them ages, I've had Fozzy since 2005. And he's... Uh, He's trained to fly most ships. The only thing he can't fly is a Titan. Which I could he could very easily is close to he's close to it. I just don't uh, just not putting the skill in. Cost too much. And I'm just not excited really about the Titans. If I had another character I could put in there, maybe. 
that I tend to use in Eater for scouting and for cloaky, warpy, black ops stuff, and Fozzy for main fleet. So I don't have another character for uh, to sit in a Titan. So, as you can see, you've got to keep on top of these. Oh, yeah, and they, uh, they pop like that. Big bad boom. Right, he's full, so both see he's full. And both lasers deactivated because they can't fit anymore into the cargo hold. That's how little, how small the Hulk cargo halter, the mining halter. Someone left the drones a couple of days ago, they're only tech one, so not even worth getting. The asteroid is depleted. Oh, I don't want that. Those two on the same uh, asteroid. There you go. There you go, so another one just going. So those are Alex's, so I'll put the drones on another asteroid now. So, Masonic Mans are fine, Nightshade's doing good, I'll just compress that while I'm here. Get it out of the way. Select another... Two Veldspars just to. I can lock a maximum six targets with the uh, Hulk, so that's that. And this music that's playing has been. I've been listening to this since 2005, and it's very calming actually. I do like it, it's very chill out. Um, there are there is new music they've done, but I select the old classical style, um, which it, you just you come to just like it and just like I said, it chills you out, especially when you're doing something like this. So the reason why I have the two hulks orbiting the orca. It's very simple. If you are attacked, keeping your ships moving, the Orc is different. It's got a hell of a tank on it and it'll take a long lot of ships to try and kill him. But the Hulks, they could die. So if you keep them moving, that gives you your transversal and ships are harder to hit if they are moving and you've got your transversal up. So I can, um, and I have done before, quickly drop the ships into the uh, into the um, I can store the vessel in the Orca so I could, I'm quick enough drop both ships into that so I'm just in my pods and then warp off with the pod and watch them try and kill the Orca because the Orca is um Oops, not that one. The Orca is... 345,000 effective hit points and it's got a decent resist on these shields. That's your shield, that's your armour and that's your structure. Your hull. Anyway, good. It's a good chance the hull, the Orca might uh, and that little ping tells you that um, something's full. I think it might be this one. Yep. You've got to really keep just. I normally have uh, two. I've got two screens, and I normally use both screens, but or. Recording, I have to have them on on this one screen, so that's fine. I'll just switch between three three uh, clients.
There we go, I'll just select another. That's fine, I may as well compress this while I'm here and drop it in there. Good. Are the drones still mining? Yep, they're still mining. That's just gone up to 100, so I'll quickly. So we've only been going about, um, what, 10 minutes? So let's have a look at what's in. Let's just stack all this. Drop it in there. So I've already done 13 million isk worth of mining in about 10 minutes. <coughs> if you were doing it in, like you saw the little one, that little venture, you wouldn't do that in a day. So it's, but it's not cheap just for this setup. Uh, it's probably cost me. Let's get this sorted. It's probably cost me the best part of 15 billion is to get everything set up to train Masonic Man from nothing really. To train him from nothing to getting into a Hulk. I've spent probably the best part of maybe 20 billion. But you know, that's what I, I had it in my mind to do when I left when I left the Alliance. I was in the Initiative Alliance and I thought that enough. I couldn't commit myself to the time that they wanted to commit in fleets and operations. So I pulled back everything, sold everything, came back to Empire. Had about 140 billion in my pocket. So I started, uh, I thought, I know what I'll do. I'll do mission level fours, get my ships, and do some industrial stuff. Get the Orca, get the Hulks. The Orca costs about. What to set up, I'll show you. Nope, nope, not that. That's a Hulk, that costs you 474 million. That's set up with all these add ons. Oh, there's another one going pop. Alex. Let's put them on there. So the if you were to get this set up to buy that, um, that's how much it would cost you. 2.4 billion isk. And there's all your modules there. I'll, well there they are, all there. So yeah. But not just that, you've got to train your characters. And I just bought some skill injectors, and they're about 800 million each. And I needed, I think, eight, ten for um, Sonic Man. So, yeah. But I knew it wouldn't be cheap. Just select some more stuff. Something's full. Not that one. Or that one. It'd be that one. I need to be a little bit more. Uh, I need to concentrate a little bit more. I'll move that into the orca and I've got a good range on uh, on Nightshade's Hulk just compress that got a good range of 52 so if I Alex has got some ah, she's got a booster she can take so I'll take this booster see that up there that'll give you whatever whatever it's going to give you there's your, all your booster 
all your percentages. So let's see if that improves. So now if I go to the nightshade, 52, 52 kilometers. No, that's normal. 37.6 and 69. That's about normal. Let's see if it's about Masonic Man. No, it's about the same. So let me just double check on his... I'm going to uh, take those as well, so that should help him. Let's see how it fits boosted. Oh, doesn't look like it. Anyway, just depends what they do. There you go. And then you've got the um, 153 hours on that standard cerebral accelerator, which is good. That comes on, they do, they do offers and things and you just get free, free gifts every day you log in, it's good. So they're all for free. Again, nothing's for free in this world, is it really? Even when they say it's free. It's not free. This game costs £15 a month per character, but um, a Sonic Man, I've actually managed to keep him afloat by buying what they call Plex in-game in -game, um, currency. And with that in-game currency from money in the game, I can actually buy um, game time, in game, for the game, using game money. <laughs> so I managed to do that, it's about, for 500 it's about 1.7 billion. And I've, um, I've managed to do it a couple of times now for Masonic Man, but I, t I do pay 15 pounds a month for uh, Alex and uh, Nightshade. Let's get some more selected. <coughs> Excuse me. That's it. Get that compressed. So it looks like they haven't been mining that much today. I mean, I can, uh, on a good run, I can flatten two belts and come out with about 180 million disc worth of uh, ore, which I then process, turn into tritanium <laughs> and mexala. You get that from the plagioclase and pyrite sometimes and uh, I put them in the industrial hauler which is a Sharon and that's 1.2 million M3 so I can normally get about 800 million its worth of ore in the industrial transporter and I will then take that to um, a central hub trading hub and sell it on the market there we get about 800 million. Good. It's all good stuff. I love it. So I've played this game so long. The asteroid is depleted. The asteroid is depleted. Okay, so that's Alex's lot. There they go, they're mining again. So that's good. Let's uh, stack all these and move them into the mining hold of the Orca. The asteroid is depleted. Mm 
They'll say that sometimes and nothing's completed, but this time it's more Feldspar. And some more plagio clays. top of these so they don't stop so they don't stop the lasers so I've got to keep emptying them keep on top small those plagio clays uh, asteroids so I'm going to oh, I'm going to leave them for now I usually put um, my sonics because for some reason um, nightshade is the one that always gets attacked first by the by the little uh, red um, rats we call them. Oops, someone coming in. There we go, little venture. That's that guy, I think. So he'll see that there's an orca with two hulks mining his belt. And it'll warp off. I mean, some don't. Sometimes they come in and they'll start mining. And they start mining the rocks I'm mining before they know it. Pop, it's gone and they've got peanuts out of it. And I've got all the, all the ore because obviously the hulks can draw crazy amounts of ore from them. They'll probably just warp off. Oh no, he's doing, see, he's going for the wrecks, so he's salvaging the wrecks. Fine. Absolutely. So he salvaged the wreck and left the loot in it, because it probably won't be worth much. And that's it, an empty cargo, con sorry, that's a cargo container with some of the modules off the rat, which won't be worth anything. Best to uh, reprocess it. Oh, nearly full again. Doesn't take long. I don't know if any of you guys have uh, attempted industrial stuff, but let me know if you have. Or if you'd like to, you just give me a shout. I can certainly, uh, I can certainly start you with, you start you off on a good foot with what you need chips-wise to make it really 
worth your while. When I first started, I thought 20 million was like an amazing amount of money. And now it's like 20 billions. Yeah. <laughs> He's mining, he's mining this Veldspar here. Bless him. We'll leave him to it. I don't have a problem with others coming in and mining. So you've seen, you've seen how quickly these are popping. to it. I'll show you the venture. That's a little venture. It's got two little they look like dear me. They look like minor ones or minor twos. So he hasn't even got the best gear. So he's gonna be very, very low yield. But you've got to start somewhere. And if, if that's all they can... I do get the odd invite, or asking me if I could invite them, invite them to my fleet and give them the boost. Something depends what mood I'm in. I will or I won't. They're nice enough to me. Yeah. I'll, uh, I'll give them the boost and they'll see all of a sudden, bang, all this. All this uh, ore they can mine. Oh, that's full as well. God. Doesn't take long, does it? Get some more bell spout. drones. I'll put mine on this one. Just want the Velspar. Rich 
up. So you can see how quick these are popping. Even the big ones don't uh, don't last that long. Compressing and dropping into the orca. In the orca, I'll stack them, select them all, and throw them into the mining hold. Watch the uh, asteroids. They actually shrink as the, as you mine. They like flick a bit, and judder as they shrink. Really strange to watch. Well, they used to. I think they still do. Open into each other all but to no one thousand. Love the details on these ships, on all ships. The shadowing, the extreme detail on on these. Changed them slightly over the years. We've got a few things there moving underneath. And you've got the the jets. Brilliant, love it.
a look at the orca, not too much to see. I mean, obviously, that's our storage, those modules here one, two, three, three the other side. That's your storage. Um, obviously, rear with the engines. There's the bridge on the top above the engines. That's your docking bay just here. And another asteroid, that's the big one. It's just popped. I think that's my yeah, that's my drone, so I'm gonna put them on that that one. See how quickly we're burning through. There's less and less rocks. And he's just warped off, realising it's futile to even try and compete. There's plenty of belts elsewhere, guys. You look, look at all the belts to choose from. I mean, really shouldn't be sharing them with someone else. There's plenty to go at. But I don't mind anyone coming in. They want to mind them. Mind them. So I would suggest if you were doing, you're thinking of, you're thinking of um, mining in Isaac. The first ship you need to think about would be, or start with, would be a a retriever or something along those lines. The venture venture's good. Uh, but first decent barge, I'd, I'd start with mining barges, try and get to a mining barge as soon as you can. But it's all part of the learning, learning curve. If I had this set up in Nullsec, I would be earning billions, billions every week. because uh, you tend to do the moon rocks take a slice off the moon smash it up and then just mine uh, and the stuff you get from that is just crazy crazy they call sometimes what they call a jackpot where everything's doubled your yield is doubled from it just just the way it is brilliant so you got to work for it guys the, the harder you work, that's what I like about this game, the harder you work, the more you put in, the more you get out. Always. It's never failed to do so for me. The more time I can put in, the happier and the more money I earn. So let's have a look, let's go to the Orca, let's get everything selected and drop it into the mine hold and see how much we've earned now. There you go, we're at 41.3 million and we've been going just under an hour, but there you go.
There's your rate, 40 million an hour. Not brilliant, but it's not bad for Empire. Not bad at all. Watch them, dink. There they go. Can you go the same way, guys? <laughs> In fact, I can just tell him to follow. Keep a range 1000. There you go. So he'll just follow him now. Nearly full. There you go. So now I'll just I'll just follow. That's there, I might say five hundred. <clears throat> Like I say, this is uh, a good chill out. If you're attacked, that's the only bit of excitement you get. <clears throat> but it's a means to an end, guys. It's um, it's it's money earned, and I can do two or three days. I'll do 800 million. That's not bad. So the amount I have mined since I started has paid for 10 new orcas and hulks. So I'm covered my costs. If I'm ganked and I lose the ships, no big deal. I'll just buy three more again. In fact, I might even get three more and have them as spares in the station. So I can come straight back out if I'm ganked. Speed here. Two, 2614 per cycle. So that's 2614 every time these go around the modules, every time these uh, timers go around the modules. So, you know. so double that, and that's every 60, well, 70 seconds. And Masonic Man is 2493 every 70 seconds. That's not bad, it's pretty close. Anything further than that, I don't like the orc to go in. These drones, because they take forever to go out and come back in. Well, not forever, but they just take longer. Well, I try and land her right on top of rocks. Not too close, because if you do land her in a rock, she bounces out of that rock at thousands of ms per second. <clears throat> that really pisses me off. Oops, excuse me. <clears throat> Pees me off.
be out and local, see if it was bad. If they're bad, they'll be flashing. These are all these are all neutral. These are neutral uh, status, which ways. If you're in Nullsec, all these will be targets for me. Because <clears throat> the, the initiative operate uh, an MBSI, uh, MBSI protocol, which is not blue, shoot it. So if you're not blue, which is means you've been set friendly to our, on our settings, on our friendly scale settings, if you were set to bad, you'd be orange or red. Neutral, fair game. Okay, good. <laughs> Let's get some more Plagio clays. That's close to getting full, so I'll compress that and get rid of it. There you go. Changed to 100 when I did it. I mean that little venture. If he'd have, if he'd have asked to, if I could let him join the fleet, then uh, I would have invited him. <clears throat> Ooh. move into the wing yeah because you can give you the wing bonuses as well <clears throat> as well ooh big one the asteroid is depleted so they'll all go idle so that I can just go like that and press F and they'll go. They'll go look. They'll go mine that now. That's their turn. The asteroid is defeated. And then we've got some rats just come in. Three of them, usually three, two or three. That one's just popped as well. And that's full. And that bleep you just heard is the rats attacking you, and they are. And they are trying to jam uh, Masonic Man right now. So you can see my drones, well, Masonic Man's drones attacking it because they're on guard. There you go, they just popped them. And I'll set those to blue, those wrecks, so anyone can help themselves to them now. Oh, there's another one left. They'll be popped in a minute. There you go. So, didn't manage to jam me. And the drones will just come right back in there. Uh, just be on guard. Let's get rid of this stuff. Asteroid is depleted. Oh. It did manage to jump me. Jesus. So. Okay, let's just set this up. Go uh, and a nice shade is on the weld spar. Let's find some more weld spar. Not much. Nice. Looking good. Yeah, bigger one. That's a Mackinaw. That's slightly better than the Hulk. If you if you're mining on your own without an Orca, the Hulks are better when you're in a fleet. <clears throat> but if you're just mining solo mining with one ship, then the Mackinaw's about as as good as it gets. Even though that really was designed for ice mining. You have a look at it. There it is. There is two turrets. Same. Only got two of those. 
two of these instead of three like the whole right you'll see he is I think he's gonna warp off no okay he's gonna start uh, mining yeah he's dropped his drones okay That's fine. You do your stuff, boy, and I'll do mine. Oh, rats again, did he that thud thud thud? That's them warping in. And there they are. Let's see who they attack now. Okay, they're attacking. Well, let me send them in card Masonic Man. So, minor fighting and Masonic Man, Masonic Man's should be attacking as well. Now they are jam me yet again. Yeah, they're dead. God damn! Twice now. Every time I have to relock everything. Ooh, nearly run, nearly full, nearly full. I'll see mine. Is mining plagio clays. Yeah, okay. The asteroid is depleted. Which one was that? No. And he's scanning. Did you hear that? E -e -e. He's actually scanning the um, asteroids to see how much there is in yield. I can't be bothered doing that. I just flatten them all. I just flam them all. Why pick and choose when you just flatten the belt? Anyway, he's to his own. Oh no, he didn't. He dropped. Um, he dropped a, a mobile tractor unit. So he's going for the wrecks. So that'll pull in any wrecks in the vicinity. I think 70 kilometers or more, something like that. 90 kilometers. I think that's the range of them. <laughs> Salvaging as well. Good man. <clears throat> So it's time to come and clear up the rubbish. So I might do some level fours if anyone's interested. I'll do some level fours with Anita uh, and I'll do those in a Tengu. You know what Tango is? It's a tier three cruiser. Great ship. Um, fitted, it cost me about 2.4 billion, but it it's a hell of a tank on it, and it can withstand virtually anything you throw at it. The modules I've got on it are just crazy. Spent some money on that. I've lost a few of those over the time, over my time. My God, have I lost a few of those to rats in uh, Nullsec. Because the rats in the belts in Nullsec are battleships and cruisers. Not these piddly little things you have here. They are huge, big, ginormous battleships. But the beauty about it is every so often, um, 
he could go weeks without it, get, seeing one. You get an officer spawn in the belts, and the officer spawn is very hard to kill. I mean, very hard to kill. This ship is like 10 times stronger than battleships, and he will rip you apart if you're not careful. Um, but I I used to catch them all the time with Anita and Fozzie to a sort of tag team. And uh, I used to pop these officers and they used to drop officer mods. And when I tell you that officer mods are worth, can be worth tens of billions, I made a lot of money from uh, officer mods. I think in my time, I think I've had about 19 officer spawns. Well, I say in my time, it's only been hey, three years since I really started sort of um, doing the belts. Obviously, COVID came along, so I had a low, lot of time to spend um, in the belts. That was great. The money I earned from the, uh, from the modules was crazy. Okay, let's, uh, let's give them... Let's give him that. Well, spell. Let's put him on that one. And what's that one? What's that one? And uh, what's. Uh, no. Yeah, and the loot. You get faction spawns as well, which are more common. And that's faction loot, which is above Tech 2. Um, quite a bit above their Tech 2 quality. So again, they're worth... The asteroid is depleted. They're worth good money. The is but it's the officer spawns that everybody wants. Every officer mods. Like the... Um, like this one on the... On Alex, the damage control, I've got an abyssal damage control. If that was an officer mod, it'd be worth 42 billion ISK, just for that one module. I've had an officer module one of these, but not um, not the one that's worth 42, it was 10, 10 billion it was worth, and I got 10 billion for it. Someone from the Alliance bought it for his time, and that's what they tend to do. Buy him for the Titans. I like to be as efficient as possible. But, uh, I'm talking to you guys as well. I'm ever going to get anybody coming on a live chat when I'm live. Would be nice. <laughs> I've had nobody yet. Even if you just say hi. That'd be great.
Everything's looking okay. Let's see how much the Orca has accrued now. So let's select all, drop it in there. 61 and a half million. And we've been going one hour and 17 minutes. That's not bad, guys. Better than a kick in the nuts. Still mining away. Don't forget, guys, please subscribe. I've got three subscribers right now. <laughs> oh dear. I'm here just to give you the content, to be honest. I've just, while I'm playing, why not record it? If somebody gains something from it, I'm, I'm happy. You can always ask questions as well, guys. Always. I'm on the chat. Just ask questions. Um, I'll answer them honestly and as well as I can. The asteroid is depleted. Who's depleted? I don't think there's any more Mel Velspar there. Okay, so I'll start on the stuff that's closer. <clears throat> so we'll see what this brings us as in complete um, shall we say complete visit to the belt and a a mining mission that I do regular you know length of time wise I'll put a couple of hours in easy um, I've been known to do more hours probably four six hours uh, and flatten two belts and like I said um, belt Totaling up. The best I've done is 214 million on two belts when they were really, really full. When they were big, big rocks. So that was just in one session, but it was a long session. the uh, drones the is pop in that one so I'll now send them to I'll send them to that one no I won't. there's no more no there's no more close by so let's do some plagio clays we'll send them to that Okay. 
So this looks like it'll be running out soon because like, like I said, I only do Plagio clays and uh, Velspar. The rest isn't worth it. <clears throat> I've got a little chart. The Velspar is the best right now. Dense Velspar is more, is more worth more. Velspar, dense Velspar, uh, concentrated Velspar, dense Velspar. Um, they're worth, all the Velspars worth more than the Plagioclase. It wasn't the set that, it wasn't the case uh, this time last year, Plagioclase was worth more. Just down to market um, demand. Um, you know, it's really, it's all self-driven by the players. So you, you put the Tritanium on the market, that will, someone will buy that, that will go towards building something. And it might go, Alliance might be building ships then so they'll have someone buying all the tritanium in in empire to transport it to wherever they are building ships for the alliance who then transport the built ships to nullsec and it's just big wheel that keeps turning love it it's all player driven all the whole economy is player driven well most of it there are some, um, well, there used to, there used to be some modules seeded by uh, CCP, the owners of the game. There used to be just stations for Tech One stuff. Again, it's not really in gear. But I would say 90% of the game is, is all down to players. I don't know if any of you guys play Daisy. That's another game I play. Just these two I play. Um, I do quite a few of a uh, few videos, a few um, adventures on there with Max the dog when I'm not killing him. I accidentally shot him the other day. Um, but yeah, if you look, uh, you'll see the De Daisy films. Uh, have a look, see what you think. It's just me running around again. Like I said, I just thought while I'm playing the games I may as well record them um, and uh, see what you think if it benefits one person then my job is done that's what I like to see but very welcome to join me anytime on Daisy we'll go running around and uh, EVP or kill some wolves and bears and Aliens and dinosaurs on one server, jeez. I actually killed three aliens from the film, Alien. The mother, the big one, that uh, she gets with the uh, loading thing off on the ship. Three of them came at me. <laughs> Crazy. It was funny, I crapped myself. Uh. Oh, something's full. Oh. To watch my... Uh, my Sonic Man. Still loads of plug your clothes to go up. <coughs> Loads of plagioclase, so I might as well start doing plagioclase with uh, with the nightshade. If I do these at the top, sorry, the bottom. Oh, 
What's that out there? Plague of Clays to do. <clears throat> Decompressing, dropping into the fleet hangar. If you look at these, look at information on these, you can see how much they are. There's the market details. Uh, what, 32, 32 million is the cheapest. The core, the industrial core, they cost a bit more. There you go, 114, 15 million. They're a bit cheaper than Jitter, which is the main hub around here. The asteroid is depleted. Come on, big boy. Let's be having you. Let's have a look at um, the Orca hold again. Let's put those in there. <coughs> and we are at 72, well, 73 million, near enough. And that's taken us one and a half hours. So to me, this is the, I won't say the perfect setup, but I would say it's a decent setup. Um, you know, for, for, for yield. And of course you need to have those skills to process, to process the ore back in the station. Uh, so Alex has those near enough uh, perfect skills for reprocessing. So everything goes to her and she'll reprocess it. <clears throat> Excuse me. It's had to cough then. Um, I'll show you. I'll show you now when we get back to the station how much she'll reprocess from all this. How much titanium. Maxalon. Looks like... No, oh, they're still going. Hmm. Compress that. He's still there, mining away, bless him. They are used to seeing me in local. They don't like it when I turn up at a belt. But then again, I'll go to I went to a belt not too long ago and there was a guy there with an orca and four hawks. And it was like holy crap. 
and they've just absolutely ripped the belt pieces in about an hour. Done. Yeah, that's right. Would have cost him a bit for the setup, <clears throat> and it did seem to have this very similar setup to me. Some more plagio clay. Oh, he's gone. Well, that was. This is mining for a mission, but I don't think that's how it works for missions, for industrial missions. Nobody's picked those drones up, they're not worth anything. Not worth the effort. Compress it. Into the fleet hangar. Press it quick before it knocks a laser off. Ah, that's good. If you're watching this, uh, if you're watching this live, don't hesitate to ask questions. If you're watching it recorded, um, you can always drop me a line. And uh, yeah, just uh, we could always have a chat. Any setup you're inquiring about, well, that's, that's certainly help you with setups. Even if you're PvP, not a problem. PvP's changed an awful lot since I used to do it. In the early days, great, you could go out and PvP on your own, one to one with someone else, but nowadays you just get dropped by a blob. Hot dropped. Asteroid is ooh big one. Look at that huge one. That's my drones for the Orca. The asteroid is depleted. And this is going. So many gone now. Look at that, guys. A mere shadow of its former self. Let's get this plague clay sorted. The orc is not going to do it all itself. You lazy boys and girls.
um, yeah, please subscribe. All I can say. Apparently, uh, it's good if you subscribe. You can tell I'm new. But like I said, I'm only doing these because I play the games anyway. I thought I might as well record them. If it helps somebody, somebody out there to uh, have a better time um, in the game, better quality game, that's fine. It's the first time it's done that. We used to do it all the time. Yeah, this game is one of the best out there. It's a sandbox, which I love. And your destiny is really how you want to make it. The career path you choose in, in EVE life is so varied. You know, you could be just mining. You could choose to be a pirate and gank people at gates and rob them of all the stuff and or you could choose to be in an alliance where you could fight with thousands in a system uh, which I've done many a time and enjoyed it years ago I was there when Steve the first Titan was blown was blown up and the first mothership I was in the Fatal Alliance then, and uh, yeah, amazing to be there f for the first, to be the first, great. I think there's a monument, I think the wreck of the mothership is still there, I just think where we were, I've been drone regions, somewhere like that, anyway, yeah, and Steve, the Titans, Steve the Titan's wreck is still there as well as a monument for the first Titan uh, that was destroyed. I remember that. Used to be on Sunday. It was Sunday nights when the servers got really busy, and the servers just crashed. They always went down. You got to about nineteen thousand, and the servers went. Everybody lost connection. So you'd be logging back in frantic frantically. And then we had a fight, can't remember where. Uh, the Titan jumped in, and in those days, the Doomsday was a field effect Doomsday, so everyone on the field was dead. They literally pressed a button, and every ship on the field was dead. Crazy. Brilliant. Been on a few Titan kills since. Okay, who's not? Are they drones? No. Okay. Ooh, come on, quick. Right, let's see how much we have mined. 85.7 million. That's what we have mined in 1 hour 40, 42 minutes. Oh, that's good. So that's not bad, is it? Nothing to be, uh, not to be sniffed at.
What is that? No timestamp. Really? I'll say hi. I know Metal Zero. Is he still in? What am I doing? Giving him money. No, he's back. He left. That's my old corp. He left Thundercats to go to Goon, so when we left Goon, and he's come back. He's alright. Yeah, the Initiative Alliance we were with. We were with the Goon Swarm Federation, the Imperium. As no, the collective was known as the Imperium. But um, our leadership in Initiative One would, wanted other things. We're still friends with Goon Swarm. Used to hate them many years ago. We hated them. When we were told we were ally, allying with Goon Swarm. You should have heard the members. They couldn't believe that we were actually going to be al allied with Goon Swarm. But after that, we had a great relationship with them. We were in many wars, many huge, you know, thousands of pilots, hundreds of capital ships, hundreds of titans. Um, the battles were amazing, immense. The amount of money that was lost, real world money. Uh, brilliant. M2. M2 was one. And uh, there's a few, quite a few. But what I liked about the initiative, they are, they really do use their initiative. And you can... Any, any, any problem can be resolved. Any issue, any, by changing fits on ships, changing the ships, you know, great, just love being in there. That's my home, I won't go into any other alliance, if I was going back, I'd go back to initiative. Hey Shines, if you're out there. And Kinky. <laughs> so all my copies in uh, Thundercats home, Bodders, Kinky, to the end of this little session. The asteroid is depleted. I'll, uh, I'll look at the um, module, the siege module. Yep, okay, so I've got 50 seconds before that cools down. So I'll turn all these off. I can't move the ship into Lembert while well, we'll tell it to align to my Insta dock. And at the same time, I'll draw the drones in. And at the other same time, I will align my hulks to the Insta dock. I'll even keep mining, I'll pull the drones in. Uh, pull those drones in and align to the Insta dock. And then I'll walk the whole fleet all at once. <clears throat> so I normally do it. So now I'm just going to wait for this module to cool down. We've got four seconds. Then she'll start aligning. I might as well reload these. There you go. She's free. She can uh, move now. I 
shoot that at the camera. Right, so I'll let her get up to 59 ms. <clears throat> Those two will keep mine until I walk off. There we go, so I will walk the fleet to that location and 3, 2, 1, there we go. together I can transfer that to the hold while we're warping so we're free okay Close these two down because I don't need them now. No shade or Sonic Man. So let's get everything where are we? From the Orca. And that's all in the mine hole now. That's what we've done today. I'll just there's 91 91.2 million there. So I'm going to select all that, drop it into my hangar, <coughs> uh, stack everything. So all the minerals that we've done are together. Select them all, right click and reprocess. And that will give us 13.9 million um, tritanium and 0 0.6, well 660,000 megs you can see there, it shows you what it's from, what the amounts are from, where they're from. Okay, so reprocess. There you go. Done. Charges you 382,000, which is peanuts. I'll just, <clears throat> I'll just stack all again so that brings the, source them all out so I know where they are. But that can go into the Sharon. That can go into the Sharon. I'll just show you the Sharon, this is my industrial hauler. There she is, she's a big bird. Like I said, 1.2... 1 1.2 million... Oh, 1.2 million... M3. So... I've got, so far, 17. It will take... About 120 million tritanium, plus whatever makes alum and pyrite. And then I can just take that down to uh, the trade hub and sell it. So right now the the total amount is 133 million in there, in there. And that's and that's a that's um, a badger. <laughs> they don't call them badgers anymore, do you? So, I'll get back in the orchid. <clears throat> Let's just check the... Uh, the um, heavy water in the fuel bay. Yeah, we've used it all up, so it's been drawn. I keep some in there, heavy water, and I keep fill the fuel bay up. One second, because it costs every, every cycle for the, uh, for the orchid. On the industrial core, so it cost me every cycle 300 and something 300 units. So you can imagine it's going round and round and dropping, dropping, dropping. So I just keep it. I sell the heavy water as well in low. I've got two million on the market right now. Anyway, thank you very much for watching, and it's been a pleasure. If you need anything, any advice, just give me a shout. I'm always, always online. See you later, guys. Thanks for watching again. Don't forget to subscribe. See you later.